Hello friends, welcome to Perfmetrics, the core performance testing YouTube channel. In this video, I will brief you about one of the basic elements of Apache Geometer, that is thread group. Also, I will let you know about its functioning and child elements. But before that, to start any Geometer script, you must have knowledge of all the category of Geometer elements, so that you can use them purposefully. So, let's start the topic. Geometer element refers to the component which is designed for some specific purpose. Actually, the Geometer script is a collection of these elements. Some of them have information about AUT. Some elements are useful to send the request to the server. Some elements validate the responses, etc. Apache Geometer is an element based tool. That is, you can add Geometer elements as per your need and design the test scripts which simulates the real world scenario. Another advantage of an element based tool is an external plugin can also be added by just adding the related jar. Here you can see the list of elements that Apache Geometer 5.4 has. There is a total of 12 elements which are test plan, non test elements, Threads, Sampler, Logic Controller, Config Element, Preprocessor, Postprocessor, Assertions, Timer, Listener, and Test Fragment. In this video, I will explain about Thread or User Element. So let's start. Thread Element defines a pool of users that execute a particular test case as per user load NFR. You can consider thread group as a virtual user group that perform a set of recorded steps. The thread element helps to define a performance test scenario in Jmeter. In thread group GUI, you can set the number of simulated user or threads, the ramp up time, that means how long it takes to start all the threads, the loop count or iteration count, and optionally the duration for the test. Following is the list of threads. Thread group, setup thread group, teardown thread group are the main threads element. Also there are some external thread group plugins available which can be added and used as per a specific requirement. Now let's talk about the child element of threads. You can add a number of elements as a child of thread element which are sampler, logic controller, listener, timer, preprocessor, postprocessor, assertions and test fragment. You cannot add test plan under a thread. Also non-test element and any other threads element cannot be added under a thread group. Now let's see the argument or the inputs which can be provided for a thread. Firstly name to provide thread group name. It could be a test case or test scenario name. Comments to write the comment related to a thread group. Next is action to be taken after a sampler error. So actions taken in case of sampler error occur either because of sampler itself failed or an assertion failed etc. The possible choices are continue means when a when an error occurs then ignore the error and continue with the test start next thread loop when an error occurs then ignore the error start next loop and continue with the test stop thread when an error occurs then stop the current thread only which has the error and continue with the test stop test when an error occur, then stop the entire test when the current sampler of other thread completed the execution. Stop thread now. When an error occurs in any thread, then entire test will stop abruptly. Any current sampler execution may interrupt. This is a summary of action to be taken after a sampler error. 
you can either learn it or take a screenshot for future reference. The same you will get on Perfmetrics site as well. Next is number of threads or users. Number of users to simulate during the performance test. This number could be get from NFRs or non-functional requirements. Ramp up period which is in seconds. It means how long Jmeter should take to get all the threads started. If there are 10 threads and ramp up time is 100 seconds, then each thread will initiate at the interval of 10 seconds. And at the 100th second, all the threads will get activated. Note, this is not the time between two threads to start. Also, ramp up time is included in the test duration as well. Next is loop count. Number of times to iterate the test case. Alternatively, you can check mark infinite to stop the test when the specified duration is over or stop the test manually. Same user on each iteration. On selecting the checkbox same user on each iteration, when Jmeter gets the cookie in the first response, then it saves the cookie and use it in the following request, provided by that the you have added HTTP cookie manager. Delay thread creation until needed. If checked the box, then threads are created only when the appropriate proportion of a ramp up time has elapsed. This is most appropriate for test with a ramp up time that is significantly longer the time to execute a single thread. If not check all the threads are created when the test starts. Next is specify thread lifetime. Check mark the box if you want to run the test for a particular duration or schedule a test. To get more information on scheduling a test in Jmeter, refer to the article of Perfmetrics how, schedule, how to schedule a Jmeter test and its link has been given in the description section. Duration in seconds. This denotes the total duration of the test. Once you select the infinite option for loop count, then you need to provide the duration of the test to control the test execution. Next is startup delay which is also in seconds. If you provide the value for startup delay, then Jmeter adds the specified delay to start the test after pressing the run button. In non GUI mode, after hitting the test execution command, Jmeter does not fire any request until the specified delay period is over. In simple word, the test start time at uh, the test start at a time current system time plus startup delay. Now let's have a look at the typical thread group that is used for scenario creation. This thread group has 10 threads. These 10 threads will be ramped up in 60 seconds. That means each new thread will be added after every 6 seconds. Hence by the end of 60 seconds all the threads will be active. The loop count is 100 which implies that each thread has to perform 100 iteration and then only the test will end up. Such type of scenario is called as loop or iteration bounded scenarios. Another type of scenario is time bounded scenario. Let's have a look. This thread group has 10 threads these 10 threads will be ramped up in 60 seconds. That means each new thread will be added after 6 seconds. Hence, by the end of 60 seconds, all the threads will be active as similar to the previous scenario. The loop count is checked as infinite, means there is no limit of iteration. Here you can see the specified thread lifetime is checked in which you have to give the test duration. Please note the test duration includes ramp up time as well.
the test will stop after one hour when it is kicked off if you want to schedule the test then use a startup delay you can get more details about this in perfmetrics article and the article link is given in the description section of the video so these are two types of scenarios that are loop bound and time bound which you can create by using a simple thread group in now let's conclude what did you learn from this video you got the knowledge about the main purpose of jmeta thread group that is it is used to create the workload model as per the given requirement in the thread group you can define number of threads user ramp up loop count and test duration there are three basic thread groups which are threads setup thread group and tear down thread group some external thread group plugins are also available you got the understanding of the meaning and purpose of all the input of threads element you have seen a summary table of the action to be taken after a sampler error which would be helpful to understand the purpose of each action also you have seen a typical thread group along with you got the knowledge about loop bounded and time bounded scenario the difference and how to create both the scenarios hope you got all the needful detail with a proper description of jmeter thread group so that's it in this video to watch more video on jmeter performance testing and engineering stay connected with perfmetrics the core performance testing youtube channel thank you